Good morning. Welcome. Today is day 40 of the 35 day detox fitness challenge and it's a 100 day challenge to see if we can build up to doing 100 push-ups. And there's a few of us doing this, still hanging in there. A few dropped off, a few coming on board, which is really cool to see. Uh, it's a personal journey and there's no right, wrong, no prizes. It's a, yeah, it's a personal journey of discovery. That discovery I, found, I find very interesting because information comes from all sources. Particularly this week, I found information coming from my clients when I was in the studio. Things were starting to come up that made sense for me. Uh, previously, I think the week before or two weeks prior to that, I seemed to be finding a lot of information coming at me via YouTube and it's the algorithm is obviously starting to pick, pick up and show uh, things for me that are relate to the push-ups themselves but this week yeah the information all came from from internally from my clients the first one was a discussion about that slouching that neck hump that people seem to develop um, as they get older and I think that's going to be a, an issue for younger generations earlier because of the amount of time that we are spending now on phones. It's almost impossible to use your phone without looking down. So what do we do to counter that? Apart from taking less time on the phone, I think the number one thing and something that I had picked up and I'd fallen back into a bad habit about and that is sleeping with no pillows or just one very low pillow and making sure that when you put your head down that you are tucking your chin in and lifting up through the crown of the head it's so much easier to do lying down than it is to do standing or seated because those bad habits are already in there so first thing I've done this week is drop that pillow and spending time trying to actually lie on the floor each day which is something that I had been doing again had dropped off as a habit so I'm back doing that to try and straighten out that top of the neck area that immediately led me on to thinking about what I was doing in terms of stretching and whether I could take the stretches beyond just countering the effort required for the push-ups and whether I could actually undo some of the damage that I had previously done. And so I brought out the yoga strap and started to do the overhead stretches which you'll see later in the video. Pyramid sets definitely are working for me and so I am continuing to do those and today um, I was able to do 45 push-ups starting with a set of nine and working my way down to a set of just the one. Uh, sand flies were biting which was probably showing my agitation in my mind <laughs> but hey we got there and um, yeah pretty happy with that result. Bit scary to think that we'll need to add up I think it's maybe 11 or 12 at the start to get that endurance to get to 100 but I'm not trying not to look forward into that and just stay in the present moment dealing with what I've got. Uh, the other thing I would say is rest is incredibly important to get to the goal. It's not about doing the push-ups every day but it is about being active every day and yesterday's activity was actually carrying a beautiful piece of driftwood back to, from the beach and I had to carry that a couple of hundred meters um, so yeah that was my effort for the for the day coming off the mat for a moment and looking what the push-ups are doing in my life uh, first thing as I think I mentioned I let go of a um, toxic relationship which I was able to do 
just before the new moon, um, in that dark phase of the or dark of the moon. Uh, but that was pretty scary and a little bit destabilizing emotionally. Came back to bite me at the full moon, which they often do test me, and I'm not sure whether I've passed the test or not. Time will tell. Second thing was that. I guess on the back of that, taking more um, power back to myself, I got this overwhelming urge to start painting the house. It's been neglected for some years and yeah, it was time to get the paintbrush out and get a new fresh perspective on life. All in all, the journey remains incredibly interesting and um, power empowering, um, transformational, I think are two words I would use, and I am committed to, to continuing. I think one month or 35 days, I know that, I knew that, what, how, how change, life changing that is. Now, in going past the 40 days, I, I am unsure what that looks like. I do know what the 12 week spiritual boot camp looks like, and um, well, obviously that's 84 days. So, onwards, and um, yeah, thanks for listening, thanks for being part of the journey, and um, look forward to continuing. Namaste.